Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install Isinga 2 and Isinga Web 2 on Ubuntu 22.04. First, we shall start from a clean and well-updated server with the latest software. Next, install essential applications we shall need throughout the installation process. We will need to add the Isinga repository to our server package management configuration. Then update the server to get packages from the newly added repository. Now that we have an official Isinga repository, we can install Isinga 2 by using the apt package manager to get the Isinga 2 package. Without plugins, Isinga 2 does not know how to check external services. So, you need to set up check plugins. After that is done, start and enable Isinga 2. and check its status. The database Isinga Data Output DBIDO, feature for Isinga 2 takes care of exporting all configuration and status information into a database. Let's install MariaDB in the database Isinga Data Output. Then, get DBIDO installed. You will see prompts during installation, choose yes in the first. In the second prompt, choose no since we already have installed and configured the database. Next, create a database and user for Isinga 2. You are free to name your database and user differently and ensure you use a safe password. After creating the database you can import the Isinga 2 IDO schema using the following command. Enter the root password into the prompt when asked and give it some time to complete. Now, the package provides a new configuration file. Update the database credentials in this file. Next, enable the IDO MySQL feature configuration file using the Isinga 2 feature enable as follows. Then, restart Isinga 2. Isinga Web 2 and other web interfaces require the REST API to send actions and query object details. Being important, we need to activate the API. Enable the API feature using the following command. You should get the following output. Now, edit the API user's config file. Add a new API user object below the auto-generated one and specify the permissions attribute with minimal permissions required by Isinga Web 2. Note that this API will be listening on port 5665 by default. Then, restart Isinga 2 to activate the new configuration made. Isinga 2 can be used with Isinga Web 2 and a variety of modules to make the monitoring experience notches higher. The preferred way of installing Isinga Web 2 is to use the official package repository. Note that if you are installing Isinga Web 2 on the same server as Isinga 2, there is no need to add the repositories once again. Now, we shall use the APT package manager to retrieve and install the Isinga Web 2 package. Run the following command to accomplish this. To prepare for web setup, we will have to manually create a database and a database user. After you are done we shall continue to set up Isinga Web 2. When using the web setup you are required to authenticate using a token. To generate a token, run the following command. 
You can later display the token using the following command. If you have a firewall, allow port 80 or 443, if you are using HTTPS. Finally, visit Icinga Web 2 in your browser to access the setup wizard and complete the installation. That will launch the web interface where we will complete the Icinga Web 2 setup. On the first page, you will be asked to enter the token you created in the step just before this. Copy your token and paste it and then click Next. Page 2 prompts you to activate the other modules that the Icinga team put together. If you will find them helpful, simply activate them then click Next for the next step. The page that follows shows you the PHP modules that are available and the ones that are missing. Click Next. What comes next is choosing the authentication type you will use. If you have an LDAP implementation or would like to use a database, choose the one that will suit your needs here from the drop-down list. Hit Next once done. Depending on what you selected in the previous step, you will be presented with a form to fill in the details Icinga Web 2 needs to authenticate users. After you are done, you can click Validate Configuration to cross-check whether the details you entered are correct. Click on Next when done. The next page will ask you to give a name to your backend. Next, we shall add an administrative user that we will use to log into Icinga Web 2 once the setup is done, it is through this account that we shall be able to create others as well. Next, adjust all application and logging related configuration options to fit your needs then hit Next. At this stage, we have configured Icinga Web 2 successfully. We only need to confirm our settings before setting it up. If all is nice and good, hit Next. The monitoring module offers various status and reporting views with powerful filter capabilities that allow you to keep track of the most important events in your monitoring environment. Click Next to start configuring the monitoring module. Fill out the connection details below to access the Edo database we configured before. Validate the settings and then click Next. After proper validation, you should see a success message like the following. Click Next to move forward. This is where the API we have installed before comes to good use. Enter the details you set in your environment in the form. Once done keying in the credentials, click on Validate to check if everything was set correctly. You can review the changes supposed to be made before finishing the setup in this step. You are advised to feel free to navigate back to make any corrections. Otherwise, if everything looks pretty, click on Finish below and you should get the message that Icinga Web 2 has been successfully set up. Click on Login to Icinga Web 2 to begin your monitoring journey with Icinga. That will land you into the arms of the login page. Enter the administrative user we created earlier and we should be let in via the main door.